In this video, we will learn about the different mathematical operation we can perform on the selection list. Whatever the data we are getting from the database, those on those fields, what all are the mathematical functions we can perform, like addition, subtraction. Apart from that, we have some standard SQL functions. Those also we can use on those fields. So for that, I have to get some data from the database. I will use uh, as usual our VBA K table. So what I want to get select from VBAK is a A or is a SO table and I can put inner join inner join VBAP is item table on obviously SO allies we will use VBLN should be equal to our item table VBLN. This is normal join condition we are using. We are getting the data from the VBAK as well and VBAP like header and line item table. Both the table we are getting data. And he, after this, I am specifying the field list. So, what all are the fields you want to get? First, I want to get the uh, obvious VBLN number. So, I can use again allies. So VBLN I want to get is sales order. We can use this is a very good advantage. We can use the alias name so we can easily understand. Apart from sales order, I want to get the net price for this. Uh, I want to get the line item number item as so so that will be available in the uh, item table. Our item. and Posner. So, Posner I am getting is sales item. Sales underscore item. I got header and item table. Now, I want to get the net price and I want to apply some discount over that net price and then I want to display. First, I want to play net price I want to display. So, net price obviously I will get from the item table and what is the net price for this? Net price is net price, net underscore price I am getting. Okay. Now I want to give some discount. Discount either can come from the another table or uh, from selection screen anywhere. So I, I want to create one variable as a discount data. Uh, and then I want to calculate the discount after the discount, how much value will be there. So data LV underscore disk count discount type of uh, I can use type P decimal value is a one point decimal and value I can give anything value it suppose I want to give the 0 0.8 percent of discount so I will use 0 0.8 as a value so I have to use is a 0 0.8 Okay, this is the discount I want to use. So this discount, so after applying the discount, what will be the price? So item net price item net price NET PR multiply by we can do the arithmetical operation like this. I want to multiply by this particular amount discount. Since we are passing from application server ABAP, we have to host this variable using the add the rat operator. And after calculating whatever the formula you want to put for discount, you can put whatever the result is coming is you can put net discounted, discounted value, discounted or you whatever the value were. Apart this thing like that in the, uh, uh, let me put one more thing. Uh, I want to see if some error I can see into table at the rate data. Okay, there is if the last field is there, then it will not give the help. Data, what is the data will be LT underscore result. LT underscore result. Okay, so it's something like that. 
what is the error no error now okay apart from this simple multiplication we can do addition we can do subtraction we can do the division all the kind of things we can do here in the our fill list apart from these things arithmetical operation we can use some function as well for arithmetic suppose i want to get the net price i want to get but the sale value of the net price and floor, floor value of the net price so how to get we can use a standard function module to get those things so i can apply the sale value to get s e i l control space okay once again so sale value i can get i have to pass the this item net price control c inside this and i can get this value out of this and after once i go to the value i can display is sale this is a sale value and we can get the floor value as well control v we can display as a floor we can get a uh, absolute value if some of the negative values are coming from that uh, 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 that field or I, we want to display on the positive value then we can you you can use absolute function as well over here and we can display as a abs apart from absolute we can round those values up to some of the character suppose i want to round whatever the value i want to uh, currently i'm getting up to two decimal i want to round to one decimal that also i can do control v in this case i have to pass two uh, parameter one is the what is the value you want to round and up to what decimal you want to round that you have to do is round like that we can do apart from round something else we want to do suppose uh, division i already noted down all the functions we can use on the selection list suppose i want to do the division but there is a one more thing in whenever we are doing the division obviously we have to pass two fields item price suppose i want to divide by 10 this value but when uh, directly division is working only directly we can divide when we use this function module so what is the problem here is do i will do still it will give error so we i can't use uh, i will get like error the two parameter but one parameter were specified so this is okay oh not like this sorry uh, so i have to comma separate so this is the function so we have to pass first value then we have to pass second value so i want to divide by 10 so cannot using expression that contain the decimal number so, so most important either i can pass whenever i am do doing the division using the div function or we can say sql function so in this case i can't use the decimal values over here either i i, I have to use integer value if there is some decimal value which should not have some decimal places value but in this case it is not possible but one thing we can do we can cast this value to the uh, integer value so i what i will do here to you cast this particular value to one second i have to cast this value item is i have to use is keyword then control space you have to do in what type you want to cast i want to cast an integer so i want to i can use int 8 here whatever the value it is coming i want to cast in integer once it converted in integer then i can use this new function module but if you want to divide directly then instead of doing this you can directly use the division so this is the one thing i can get the mod or modulus operator as well the same thing goes with the mod as well control c control v we have to use again we have we can pass only the integer value or if there is some decimal value there should not be some decimal places available there so mod i can pass as a mod so these are all are the things these mainly these are the major functions we can use on the selection list operator shift f1 control f3 let me activate first this one let me do if control space shift f1 i'm sorry 
साई सभा सी इफ वी गेट सम वैल्यू इज इनिशियल देन आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले दिस पर्टिकुलर सी एल अंडर स्कोर डेमो अंडर स्कोर आउटपुट एंड आई वॉन्ट टू कॉल द मैथड डिस्प्ले ऑफ दिस डिस्प्ले एंड आई वॉन्ट टू पास दिस एल टी रिजल्ट ऑफ आई आर कंट्रोल सी एंड कंट्रोल बी सो यू कैन सी दिस वेरी सिंपल प्रोग्राम आई डेंट डू मच बट नॉर्मली जस्ट थिंक आउट इफ वी हैव टू डू इन प्रोग्रामेटिकली हाउ वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू गेट द डेटा देन वी हैव टू लूव थ्रू दोज डेटा एंड देन वी हैव टू डू दो कैलकुलेशन एंड पुट अगेन इन द टेबल दैट वी यूज टू डू वेन वी वर्क ऑन दट अदर डेटा बेस what we do we get all the data then perform this operation why are looping through those data perform those operation at the application layer now we are doing each and everything at the database layer itself whatever the calculation you need you can do database level then you can in desired format you can get the data and you can display in the output so like that uh, here i use join unnecessary uh, without join also i can explain because i am not using any field from the vbl let me use some field uh, एस सो टेल ऑपरेटर कुन्नर सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू यूज कुन्नर एज ए कस्टमर दिस विल बी नॉट कस्टमर दिस विल बी कस्टमर आई डी इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गेट द कस्टमर आई हैव टू फर्दर ज्वाइन दिस टेबल आई कैन ज्वाइन लेट मी शो यू दैट ऑल्सो वी कैन मेक एज मच एज कॉम्प्लिकेट दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेरी सो सो मेकिंग द कॉम्प्लिकेशन इनर ज्वाइन विथ Kunnar, we can get K N one. K N one is first customer table. So I used customer table on. I can make like that on. Where S O underscore Kunnar. There is some Kunnar field should be equal to first till operator Kunnar. I want to use again Kunnar. and after doing this i can use the control c i can use the field of uh, control uh, control v what field i want to use uh, along with the customer i want to use name one something like that so i can display the name of the customer instead of id as customer so i can make instead of getting the uh, i can join as much as if i am getting material i want to get the material description that i can hit mkt table along in the same select statement and we can get all the data together final table directly and we can display like that we can do suppose i am getting uh, from vbap material also that one table uh, another join we can add and we can get the description and we can display let me activate and display how the result to look like we will analyze the result control f3 let me do f9 uh clear out the console there is already data is there let me clear out this one i will do f9 again so you can see lot of data available so we will see one by first we are getting the sales order then we are getting the customer id then we are getting the what is the customer name of that particular customer id and what is the sales item and next column is the net price this here and onwards you have to see net price and after discount what is the net price after i have given 0.08 discount so i multiplied by 0.08 whatever the value i am getting i am displaying a net discounted value what is the sale value of this one sale it will be 18 matlab upper 7.5.5 and upper value will be the 18 and what is the floor value for 17 obviously for this floor value will be the 17 so we are getting the floor is a floor and after that what is absolute value anyway we always get net price as a positive so it will be always equal to net price because we don't have any negative if if we have some column negative value it will be negative will be removed then that value will be will be displayed here and then round you can see we have rounded up the 7.55 become 7.6 same way some value uh, we are having 7.2 round value will become okay we are rounding up to one decimal that's a one important thing there there, uh, there is two decimal over here so 67 becomes 7 if something we have two decimal 17.55 will become 7.6 uh, some lower values are have 10.03 become 10 so like that it is rounding the data I, nearby what is the nearby integer there it is going for 10.03 
what was the nearby integer 10 and for uh, in our case 7.55 what is the nearby by integer that will become 7.6 up to one decimal if i want to uh, round off with zero decimal you can pass here zero so it will round off with the zero decimal the values will be uh, there will be no decimal over here so like that we can do and next is division so before division I, as i told you we can't directly divide those values we have to convert those values into integer then we have to divide so you can see 7.55 uh, converted into the integer and it divided by uh, converted into the integer it becomes 17 then it, it divided by the 10 then we got one time and what is the remaining 7 so here it is not rounding up one time it just take the integer part of the value when we are converting the integer value we and when we are using the cost operation it is working like that same goes with 15 16.67 it is converted in integer 15 16 then it divided by 10 then what we come 151 is left the division and what is the modulus value then 6 is 6 is the modulus 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 value like that we are getting so these these are the things this is the i just want to show you the what all are the functions I can use these all are the arithmetical function we have the some string operation as well that that we that also we will discuss in next part just I want to show you what all are the arithmetical operation we can do on the uh, particular selection list so that's a very useful previously we should not we, we were not able to use those kind of things because our database uh, is not that much powerful that can calculate a lot of things and a lot of joins here as I told you as, as of now I join only three table if I want to join more than three table up to 50 table we can join I can add material uh, description table if I want to get so if I want to lay, link those other table those table to all, some other table that also I can do in within the one same select statement it's very useful and powerful I hope you learned something new from this video please like this video subscribe this channel and share these videos with others as well so they can also learn with that thank you and happy learning